Bass and welcome to this video. You are about to watch our NSTP to oral events presentation, so stay tuned! This is Angelica Danau from 1BSNB and let us present you our project proposal with the title of Mobilizing Optimistic Response for the Environment or also known as MORE. So here's our project proponents which includes me as the leader and the rest of the team. The implementing unit or group is us, the group 4 from 1st year Bachelor of Science in Nutrition and Dietetics. The minimum required duration of the project is 54 hours. So that's what we followed. And with that, we need to work for 2 months and 1 week. And according to our schedule, we could use a maximum of 6 hours per week. So if we are to calculate everything, in 2 months we have 48 hours plus uh, one week, so additional six hours. And that's how we decided for a 54-hour project duration. Now, let's move on with the objectives. For general objectives, we aim to raise awareness and concerns about environmental degradation and to improve their sanitary conditions. Next is to develop their environmental and local economic growth. It is extremely crucial to take actions towards these things since these problems have been running on for decades already. And uh, every day, every moment we breathe right now, there are people who struggle to live. And because of that, there is no other better time to wait for us to move. Because the best time to work is no other than now. When it comes to our specific objective, we would like to encourage the community to participate in the fun activities and collect 1.5 to 2 liters of plastic bottles, as many as we can, to produce recycled brooms out of it. We thought that it would be a nice start to further develop their waste disposal within the community in a way that we could also contribute to their environment and their economy. And we will talk about how are we planning to do all of it later on. Now, let's discuss the project description. Our team research about the recent actions and interventions made by the local government unit here in Liga and Pangasinan last March 2021. And that's how we came up with the idea of why not carry on what has been started and just give it a twist instead. Our plan goes with conducting different activities that will benefit the target community environmentally and economically. Next is the justification or rationale. Hello! This is Major Kamba. As we all know, environmental degradation and low economic growth are just some of the major issues our world is facing right now. We have chosen Barangay Lipsong East Lingi and Pangasinan due to being a flood-prone location. It is frequently broadcast on the news during rainy season. So, we come up with the idea to make a proposal that could possibly help the community to control flooding. Our team would conduct various activities like cleaning, collect, and business starts up. That is not only for the environment but also for the economic growth of their community. By teaching them basic skills on being an entrepreneur, we could help them start even a small businesses. There are a few difficulties we foresee such as budget insufficiency and cooperative residence in limited time, but with teamwork, dedication, and supportive university, we could get through it all. When it comes to replicability, we think that the project has a potential to grow, especially the resources in it is just everywhere. Whenever someone sees non biodegradable waste, just like a plastic bottle, it can turn into a whole new equipment just like what we did, and anyone could easily replicate it since the process is just simple. In regards with the impact and benefits derived from the project, there are a lot of things we should look forward. It includes good health, just like what is stated here. But how? Here's the answer. A decrease in air pollutant would prevent lung diseases and decrease in drainage clogging would also prevent flooding that could potentially lead to leptospirosis. Clean and healthy environment equates to happy and healthy community. That's just one of the benefits. Next is boosting economic growth. How? By what they could learn on basic entrepreneurship skills. This could be designed for them to finally start even a small business in a creative and productive way. Not to mention the incentives they are to receive based on how much they have collected. And this is Glenda Diaz. Now let's proceed with the coverage of the project. Here we are going to talk about the location and the population of the target community. 
We have chosen Barangay Libsong East, Lingayan, Pangasinan, with a population of 6,176 according to the census 2015. We found out that our beloved Mayor Leopoldo Batawi made an action for flood control in the year 2018. The project is designated to drain of floodwaters out of Libsong East, Tonton, Libsong West, Poblacion, and all the way to Limahong Channel. However, we managed to gather news from different sources that Barangay Lipsum is, is still experiencing flooding even after the flood control project. That is the reason why we choose to conduct our project proposal on this location. So next is methodology. What are the activities or strategies being implemented or employed? Project introduction. First, we will begin our project by introducing our objective to the target community. It will include the benefits they could get, project duration, or how long this would last, and the outcomes to look forward to. Next day, we will conduct a clean and collect activity which is obviously focused on cleaning along the streets like street cutters and other areas that accumulate most rushes, brooms from scratch. The following day, we would teach and guide them how to produce an eco-friendly brooms out of plastic bottles we have collected from the other day. Materials and snacks are provided by the team. On the succeeding day, grocery incentives would be given to the residents that participated our activities based on how much dresses and plastic bottles they have collected from the past day. Business start out. On the last day, we would conduct a symposium about basic entrepreneurial skills. The last activity is important because the knowledge they would obtain from the brooms from scratch activity would be a perfect use to start producing their product and making even a small business. Now for the question about what new technologies are being applied or introduced in project. We believe that creativity and innovation were applied in the making of our project proposal since we use things that we thought are useless before. And this is Daniel Narciso. So we have Pangasinan State University Lingayan Campus as our agency counterpart. It is a public university which founded in the year 1979 and is also known for its many locations throughout the province of Pangasinan. This is the main campus which we are currently enrolled in. About the effective use of resources, the budget will come from PSU Lingayan Campus, specifically NSTP Department. A discussion about the implementation, presentation of the detailed budgetary requirement in a schedule of activities for transparency will do. But we would first present this project proposal and a solicitation letter to the NSTP department, which would include the benefits and outcomes of the project. Hi, I am and this is Kyla Garcia. Now we're pleased to write a specific actions intervention project. So we would conduct a program to boost the intended project proposal. Then we will proceed with clean and collect activity. Afterwards, we will instruct how to make recycle groups of plastic bottles. The interesting part is anybody who is able to collect as many plastic bottles as he or she can will receive the grocery incentives and how much bottles they have collected. We also plan to coach them on how to make group money up what they have learned from making recycled rooms out of plastic bottles. The same goes to the students. The program will be conducted every afternoon, which will take place for about one to two parts. With these activities, we need the participation of residents in the community so that we will be able to learn and experience everything that is fun. Last but not the least, this is Mandy Teneteri. Here are the little budgetary requirements and schedule of activity. The first thing we need is scissors, especially on making the rooms from scratch activity. We estimated that the number of persons that would participate would not more than 50. So, in order to somehow save up some money, we decided to put up 15 pieces only. They may share material to each other. Just as the same with everything that is listed down the table. To sum up, the total budgetary requirement for our project proposal is 3,026 pesos. In our detailed schedule of activities, we used our scheduled time on NSTP2 subject and our vacant time every afternoon so that there would be no subject affected and we could implement our project well. We also thought that it is the best to put everyone on everyday schedule so that we could experience everything on the process altogether. So that's all for our project proposal and we hope that you enjoyed it. And remember that you could always do better and be more. Thank you for watching.